Hey Leo, you need to know this right now for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Leo. So, Leo, you have the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So, Leo... Very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the two of cups. For Leo. Clarify the two of cups. For Leo. Clarify the two of cups. For Leo. It is clarified with a magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Leo, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Leo, clarify the magician. For Leo, clarify the magician. For Leo, it is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about maybe a agreement. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're just conflicted within because you're needing to make a choice concerning an agreement. But I hope you're not trying to manifest some type of drama or argument with your soulmate, competition in the picture with your soulmate. You want to fight? You cruising for a bruising? What, what you doing? Leo, you have the eight of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid, moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid, moving energy of being intimate. So, Leo, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands. For Leo, clarify the eight of wands. For Leo, clarify the eight of wands. For Leo... It is clarified with the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Leo, listen, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Leo, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here concerning your coins. Maybe some type of an agreement and you're conflicted with them because it's happening really fast. You can tell me you got into a heated discussion or argument over these coins over some type of an agreement here. Leo, you can tell me that you guys... <sighs> this is the part of what? Let's try to make it work you can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument and you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship you can tell me that they were communicating passionately online with someone else and being intimate with someone else there's competition here there's drama here. Are you trying to start the drama here? Is it an argument over waiting? Are you purposely waiting with something and it's causing an argument and you meant to do it? <laughs> Leo, you have a six of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Leo, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Six of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Six of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. Leo, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You can tell me that you guys are on a break over something that happened in the past. It's being brought back up here and an argument is taking place. Yeah. You can tell me that you're thinking about reuniting with this person, but I want to know if you're meditating on someone from your past. And this is the reason why you're trying to instigate and manifest some type of conflict, an argument, competition. Leo, you have the sun. This is you, Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. This is you. You were doing somersaults earlier. Let's see what you have to say. Clarify the sun for Leo. Clarify the sun for Leo. What about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify the sun for Leo. It is clarified with the two of cups again. 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 Is something being illuminated concerning some type of an agreement here? Or are you in love with someone? Are you in love with someone and you're trying to pick a fight with somebody who you're with to go towards this person that you're in love with or something? 
All I do is think of you. Day and night, that's all I do. Can't get you off my mind. Think about you all the time. Oh, mm -hmm. what is it? What is it? <laughs> you have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one wields to sever a relationship. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. Now, I also want to say that something could have been illuminated about your soulmate here. And you're trying to manifest some type of argument. You want it to go down. I don't know if it was something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here or you're discovering that someone from their past is in the picture i hope it's not about children goodness clarify the ace of swords for leo clarify the ace of swords for leo clarify the ace of swords for leo it is clarified with the hangman could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Leo. Clarify the hangman for Leo. Clarify the hangman. For Leo, it is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Leo, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Leo. Clarify the chariot for Leo. Clarify the chariot for Leo. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. <sighs> Leo, you can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity here about them starting a passionate new beginning somewhere with someone else. I see two things happening at the same time. You're finding out something concerning this person that you're with. And I also see that you're making a decision to go stagnant with this person. To take a break here. But while you're taking a break, is your mind on someone else? Are you meditating on someone from your past who you're wanting to go towards? 
Are you wanting to go towards this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone you have history with here and start a passionate new beginning? It just, you want competition in the picture? You want to bring someone else in the picture? You have someone else in mind? You're in love. And every time I say this <laughs> phrase, I want to say, you're in love with a scripper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I want to say it. I don't know. I heard it before. I don't know where I, well. I wasn't on the pole, but I heard it somewhere. I heard it on the radio or somewhere. I heard it. Goodness. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Leo. Now, this is just additional messages here. <laughs> you guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Leo. And it says Archangel Michael, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. Archangel Michael, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. What else for Leo? What else for Leo? And it says unconditional, genuine, certain love. Unconditional, genuine, certain love over here. Why do I feel like you're trying to orchestrate some type of drama or argument? Because you're finding out something, yes, but then you already have your mind set on something else. Um, Leo, if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You need to know this right now for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace